subscribe now. EU debates. It is always very important to support in, for example, Belarus, the opposition. But I must also say, well, first, the first sentence I must say, none of us is allowed to change regimes in other countries. That's a democratic rule. It's the people who decide who is in government. Of course I know that autocratic systems try everything to suppress this free will, to change the government at the ballot box. But uh, in the case of Russia too, it's the Russian people in the very end who have to decide what kind of government they want or they don't want. I never like very much hypothetical questions <laughs> to answer because this is a crystal bo ball in which I am looking now. You were asking what if the government change or the regime changes and somebody else is coming. Depends on who is coming afterwards. So, but this was the 1990s. Before 1990 there was the Cold War between us and them. After the 1990s, of course, the doors were open, the hearts were open, and all these countries now are member states of the European Union. And it was phenomenal for me to see that these countries partially extremely poor. The moment they joined the European Union, there were some uh, members of the European Union who were fearing like, oh, whoa, 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 they are coming and our wealth will de decrease. The opposite was the case. Because of the joining the, of the European Union and the single market and, you know, the exchange of trade and business going back and forth, you could just watch on a daily basis how the living standard was rising and wealth and prosperity were rising. So all these doors are basically open, but it's the people that decide. Yes.